so hello guys i welcome you all in today's tutorial class where i have presented to you a single phase full controlled center tap control rectifier okay so here you can see this is called center tap single phase center tap controlled rectifier so here what we are doing we have selected two scrs okay as you can see in this figure there are two scrs this is the basic arrangement of a single phase center tap controlled rectifier with resistive load this is the resistive load i have connected okay and plus the positive terminal of this resistive load is this side at right side it should be here okay not this side so what happens phase control of both the positive and negative halves of ac supply is now possible thus increasing that's why it is called full control full wave control rectifier okay this thyristor as you can see this is thyristor 1 and this will operate during positive half cycle and this thyristor will operate during negative half cycle so both the uh half cycles in both the half cycles we will get the output okay rectified output and uh, this is voltage across load this is i have connected an ammeter and this will read the load current this will read load voltage and what happens guys in this during the positive half cycle scr1 this is thyristor 1 and during second half cycle negative half cycle scr2 e conducts okay and basically what happens what are the waveforms we got so you can see from here select input so this is input supply voltage then see the waveform across load resistive load this is the waveform across resistive load v load then see the load current this is the load current and angle of firing angle we have set 30 degree okay 30 to 180 it will conduct up to 30 to 180 and second scr will conduct from 210 to 360 then you can see thyristor voltage voltage across thyristor 1 you can see this is the waveform and voltage across thyristor second so you can see the waveforms so these are the waveforms okay i will put this waveform beside the circuit beside the circuit so you can see here you can clearly see this is input waveform input supply voltage then this is the waveform rectified output we are getting from output across resistive load and this is the load current this is the load current and voltage across thyristors so this is the uh, center tap rectifier control rectifier now guys what we do we will look the waveforms okay when resistive inductive load is connected across this okay across load when rl load is connected so we import our second circuit this is our second circuit okay what we have changed here firing angle is same 30 degree to 180 degree firing angle of scr1 and this is firing angle of scr2 from 210 to 360 okay basically all the circuit are same but what we are doing here uh, in addition with this resistance extra inductor an inductor is connected here okay this inductor is connected so positive terminal should be at this side and now we will see the waveform across resistive inductive load now we will go to run simulation 
okay we have to close the previous waveform and then we will go to run simulation then select v input this is the v input then select load voltage so this is the waveform we got in the output now during because of inductive effect this reverse voltage appears okay you can clearly see here due to the inductive effect this reverse voltage appears then you can see the load current this is the load current and what happens scr1 conducts from alpha to 180 degree and load voltage follows the input voltage and scr2 is fired when scr1 is turned off okay so what happens this is the output current load current and vth1 this is the waveform vth1 and this is vth2 okay now what happens guys here here what is happening the value of inductance you can see the value of inductance is very small here 0 0.01 henry as you increase the value of inductance okay now increase the value of inductance 0.1 we take point something 0 0.12 okay 0 0.12 now we will see the waveform of output current so what happens this inductance changes the shape of output current as this uh, as the value of inductance increases the shape of current changes it becomes continuous okay you can see you can see here it becomes continuous this is the shape of current it is changed as you increase the value of inductance the current waveform changes so guys it will keep changing if you increase the value of inductance you can clearly see here if you can if you increase the value of inductance then now it is 0 0.12 henry so the load current waveform becomes continuous you can see here and also what you can do in this waveform you can connect a free wheeling diode across this load okay what you can do you can add in this circuit a free wheeling diode then see what happens now we have selected a free wheeling diode now connect across this load now see what happens so this is diode now we will run the simulation so input voltage we have got the input voltage supply voltage and output load voltage so you can see here the negative voltage what appeared is now okay disappeared it is disappeared now due to free wheeling diode then you can see the load current okay now here what you can see change the value of inductance to previous one point we put 0 0.01 sorry 0 0.01 henry okay so this is the inductance value now see the load current okay now input voltage then output voltage here the negative effect negative voltage is disappeared due to the free wheeling diode effect now load current you can see now this is the load current you can see so that's it for today guys now we will meet for the next tutorial class very soon. Till then, goodbye.